Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. We've got none other than Fargo against Size today over here on Stonehenge. Down in the south, we have the big size with the orange color as the Gile Tox. Up in the north, we have Fargo himself. He is not back. He is still retired. I think for the summer, you know, I think he goes away. I think he, he lives in the UK like in the winter and I think he might go to Lithuania back home where he's from for the summer because he's retired before and then come back <laughs> many times but it, it does strike me that, that as a player that uh yeah he goes away for the summer i think uh, i might be wrong but uh but i think so he's, he's got he's got been gone for a while this this latest retirement is longer than his normal two-week retirement his last one has been a few months but he still makes an appearance on stream chats and uh, fake accounts he's playing with the china in the blue up in the north he's got the red guard veterancy you may be thinking that's a bit of a waste getting Red Guard Veterancy because Red Guards are pretty useless against any GLA, but also China Vanilla in general is pretty useless against uh, against GLA. So you might not even get to a stage where you're using like artillery and carpet bomb and mines and stuff like that. If these Red Guards can win an engagement early on and actually make sure they survive and get an oil, like win against a terrorist or maybe a random battle against a, a rebel <laughs> i don't think you could win against a rebel but if it increases your chances slightly of getting an oil you have a chance or a better chance let's say of winning against a uh, against a pro player like size gla late game so we've got size actually going for one technical and then straight quads behind that size is very good at keeping units queued up all the time he will make a, an absolute monster amount of quads and he's using his technical here to harass the red guards capturing the oils so two have gone down so far i think that one there in the middle got denied plus that one in the top right got denied gatlix is chasing away the technical mr terrorist here just kind of chilling it's got the opportunity to kill two trucks that would be an absolutely huge blow at this stage in the game to kill two trucks is fargo gonna suicide his dozer for it or is he gonna make mines i think making mines would be a good option he did move his dozer there for a second Fargo re-attempting an oil cap. Oh, very nice. More of a mistake there from Size, but Size is focusing on keeping his quads out and denying the oils. So, yeah. Unfortunate there for Size, or I'd say a mistake. You can just click the terrorist and just forget about it, and chances are a truck will probably normally run over it. Here comes the Gatlix again, though. Fargo with kind of an okay opening. Looks like he will secure that top right oil, by the way. And he is clearing everything up here. This one's just with the random machine gun on top of the... Uh, on the licks as standard. He just clears that up. But he does lose a lot of HP on both of those. Needs to go back and repair. So size has got a bit of an opportunity now. A little bit of time to actually uh, make some pressure happen. He's pushing along the left side with three quads. Not the strongest attack in the world. I think three lickses, even probably partly damage, can deal with that. Is that a mistake from Fargo? Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, it is a mistake. Oh, it's still four quads, though. Oh, he's lost this one as well. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. One licks of four quads. Is that worth it? He's ahead in XP, but a licks is very expensive. What is it, like 1,500 plus 400 for the bunker? That's the best part of 2,000, isn't it? And then you're talking 1,500 to fill it. So you're talking 3,500. Or just a little bit short of that. Let's say 2,900. No, wait. I don't even know what I just said now. <laughs> I don't even know what I just said. 3,400, I think, for Elix. That's very quick maths and just approximate, by the way. Doing this doing this live. Recording this live. <laughs> Versus how many quads did he kill? Four quads. Four quads is like 3k. So it's just not worth it. But as China Vanilla, would you take that, though? Because you've got a bad army against a good, good army anyway. Would you take a slightly negative trade rather than a really awful trade? Perhaps. Size now with a big attack of quads on this left-hand side. Bit of a range bug going on there. He's actually killing the truck from inside. Actually, from It was actually killing it from here. 
Fargo chose to clear this right position. I think Fargo's doing okay, considering the matchup. It's definitely not completely awful. He's really trying to get these middle oils, isn't he? Is size just going to focus him down? Size actually just continue to push with these quads. Is that a bad engagement there for size? Because there is a, a vanilla battle master out now. Quite a rarity to see that actually do anything against the GLA. But here it looks like it actually might do something. Some people ask to make like a, a tier list for units. For zero. If I ever did, quad would definitely be up there because they're basically anti everything. Anti building, anti air. Anti-flamer, anti-gat, <laughs> and even anti-tank in their numbers if you pop from the right tunnel. Bunch of flamers now continue to do the flame wall there for Fargo. It's taking down a couple of quads. Probably not the most efficient trade in the world, but again, you probably would take some of these uh, trades as China Vanilla, even if they are slightly negative. So what Fargo wants now is size to pop in the middle. And then probably go to the base. That's what I'd be thinking. But actually, he used the flame walls there to make size think twice about whether he would pop. And then came in with elixirs. So, so Fargo's having a really good success. And he's ahead in XP. This is definitely a high level trying to play we are seeing here. Size under a lot of threat. You do feel a little bit helpless and actually a little bit newbie in these situations. When you're just uh, getting pushed back as the GLA versus the China. You feel like this shouldn't be happening. But actually with some well controlled... Flame walls and lixes. This this play is is not the easiest thing to deal with. You've got a, you've got expensive quads for Tox. Oh, big mistake there from, from uh, Fargo. Almost said Sizer. Big mistake from Fargo. Lost the Lix. It was looking really good for it. Oh, it's still looking really good for him. Look at this flamer. Sizer's gonna have a heart attack when he sees that go <laughs> going in his face. <laughs> oh man. Why didn't he just start flame wall in there? Oh, Fargo, you haven't even... What if you killed two quads and a bunch of workers? Have you even killed the supply down to the hole? Why didn't you just start the flame wall there? What the hell? You start the flame wall there, you could have blocked all the quads, killed a few that are coming through here, and took down the supply and the arms dealer, but instead he just hung around too long. If you got an opportunity, man, take it. Size is creeping forward on this left side. He's still got a bunch of quads here. This is one thing you'll see from higher level GLA players. He's left a bunch of quads there, which not a lot of people do. Everyone will think, oh, let's just get them now and go back in a tunnel. But he's left them there because that is now completely anti-licks. You're not going to be flying at any of your helixes anywhere around there. Um, but size will continue to make the ground units and then pop from another tunnel. Like Some people just keep one full tunnel and that's it. But uh, yeah, higher level GLA players will keep more than one full tunnel. Or keep an army somewhere and then potentially another two or three. And, and sorry, another one or two on top of that. Fargo's having good success and he's now level three. Carpet and artillery will cause absolute devastation. But a big quad pop there from size. And another Lix does fall there for Fargo. But you still probably would take this situation. You've now got carpet and artillery. So, I mean, you could use it on the tunnels. Try and bait out a quad pop. Could be extraordinary. Or you could go for like an oil. Go use the carpet first, wait till it hits, then use the artillery to get a dead cert kill. Even if Fargo is level three, he's only got what? One general's promotion, I think. Because size has got some veterancy on these quads. Ooh, this is a moment of truth. Oh Fargo, you can't you can't be hesitant in these situations, man. Hesitation will definitely get you killed. You gotta decide when you're going in and commit to it if you're doing it. Yeah, Fargo hesitant a little bit there. He's also not used his carpet by the looks of it. Carpet bomb is coming now. He's going to focus on those quads. Is size going to move at all? No, he does lose a bunch of quads there. Only five survived, but four died. And some of them were the vet two quads as well, so they're powerful ones. 
Um, artillery now coming in. I have to imagine it's going to be on that tunnel. Ooh, that's a big risk from size there. Huge risk. Oh, that's still a decent hit. That is a huge risk, though. Imagine if he clicked it there, man. Would have wiped out his whole army and the German and a bunch of workers. But either way, Fargo's still happy with that because it still killed a load of stuff. I killed like the remaining five, so he's killed, what, nine quads in total, of which a lot of them were vetted as well. Inferno Cannon's now from range, but size is on Palace, so Battle Bus, Buggies, Scud Launcher, Jarman Kel, those kind of things could deal with the Infernos. Um, I was going to say Fargo probably should have MIGs behind this, but he's run out of cash completely. He's bringing a ton of quads, sorry, a ton of uh, trucks. That would be amazing if he was bringing quads, wouldn't it? But he, he is bringing uh, a ton of trucks. He clearly want, he clearly needs this. He needs to even sell something here. I think he's just sold one war factory, hasn't he? Probably would have sold... I don't know. He's going to have enough cash in a second because he's got the oil. Vargas doing a really decent attempt. I just wonder, is it enough? Because size is already getting the markets now and the rebel ambush comes out, kills a load of infernos. Oh! They're not killing that one for some reason. I have no idea what's going on with that one. Fargo, Fargo still got the magic number of three. Size now has AP ammo and veterancy, but the Infernos are doing a lot of damage. Bit of a Fargo flame wall there. Flame in his own gap. Has to make an appearance at some point in this replay. But... I mean, that's probably bound to happen at some point. He's about to kill his troop brother as well. Yeah, Inferno's doing big damage now. Helix is still flying around, and he still has five. A trick to get them all bunched together, by the way. So attack move. Attack move in that position, and they'll all go together. But a big attack from size on this right inside. There is a artillery platform. ECM and a gap. It will weaken this army. I don't think it will win, but it will weaken the army. Fargo needs to repair that ASAP. If Fargo can just weaken the army a little bit and then come in with elixirs, this is a uh, a very nice XP pickup and a very nice army kill there. Fargo, that is a really nice engagement. And he saved all of the helixes. Very nice indeed. Uh, oh yeah, Fargo Flame War is still making an appearance. Fargo is now level 4, so he'll get an extra level of like uh, mines or artillery, something like that. Oh, there's a lot of RPGs inside of there. And the reason it killed it, killed that so fast is because he's got the Gamma upgrade. It's an unknown thing in Zira for a lot of newer players is that actually you get the Anthrax Gamma and it increases the powerfulness. <laughs> increases the damage output is a better way of saying it. Uh, damage output of the RPGs. Another quad pop here from size. Carpet Bomb coming in. Focuses this time on one of the markets. Does kill the market. Very nice. Fargo doing well with just the three Inferno Cannons because if he loses even one Inferno Cannon, he will not be able to create a Firestorm, so he needs to preserve them as much as possible. Jarman Kel is back out. Maybe he got killed earlier. Fargo with another Flame Wall. What is he going to keep focusing on, though, this building? He's going to lose a quad here. That's going to be painful, and it is. But at least Fargo's collecting from here. He's got this supply right back here, so he can pull the trucks if he needs to. Fargo's now occupying this building. John Mankell is out sniping some stuff. Hmm. I'm kind of I'm kind of rooting for the underdog here. I'm kind of hoping that China Vanilla can get the win. <laughs> like secretly, because we all it's like it's boring if the expe if the expected happens and Tox just wins. Does kind of add an element of boredom to it. I, I'm kind of secretly, uh, weirdly rooting for Fargo to win here. <laughs> what can he do with these Lixes? He, he's got the opportunity to go for a base trade now somewhere. Oh, no, Size knows it. You see what I mean? Size always got extra quads ready. Oh, on Lix. He's taking a lot of damage, but Fargo is going straight into the heart of the base. Size is going back inside of his tunnel. Fargo is committing to this area, actually. There's surrounded by quads now, actually. I don't think these Lixers are going to get out. They're going to do a little bit of a nice base pick off here and there, but I don't think they are going to get out. They're going into the meat grinder. There are quads absolutely everywhere. Poor Fargo, man. He's getting absolutely wrecked. 
Nah. He's got one licks left. He's got one licks. But size is getting all the bounty money from these kills as well, plus the veterancy and stuff like that. Artillery now coming in from Fargo. Plus he's pushing here. Ambush from size is clearing stuff. Oh, where's the artillery going to hit? I think it's going to be like here. That's going to be nice, actually. Those artillery... Oh, the shells disappeared in the air as he quit. But those artilleries have been on point from Fargo. Uh, and I feel like that probably wasn't impossible to win. I know size did put up a really decent defense and remained calm and made tons of quads, got AP ammo, all the things he needed to do. But I, I just feel like Fargo is having quite a lot of success in places. With a few tweaks, I have no doubt that Fargo could have been able to win that. I just like maybe the Helix Preservation, a little bit of hesitation here and there. Maybe, um, maybe he did need to go mix. Uh, maybe there was a better way of holding onto that left-hand side supply. Something like that. I just feel like Fargo had so much success there with China Vanilla with a few tweaks, maybe preserving a couple more Helixes here and there. Maybe maybe you needed Napalm for the Flamers to do more damage against the quads. I'm not sure. Probably have to rewatch it again and like analyze it properly. But yeah, the Helix wastage is one thing that um, stands out. There was a few times where this like, got caught on the edge. And losing that supply on the left probably was the deal sealer, maybe. And then he did claim it back, but he, but he lost a lot to try and reclaim it. But you let me know what you do different. GG, well played, and see you in the next one.